Hello dentist, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Today we're going to talk about hypodontia. Before we start our topic today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. Hypodontia is considered to be a dental anomaly. So what are dental anomalies? They are abnormalities in the number and the morphology of teeth involving uh, different types. Okay, let's see what are the types of dental anomalies, okay, concerned with the uh, number and the morphology of teeth, okay? The first one we're going to talk about is hypodontia. Uh, the hypodontia means uh, uh, is when a patient has one or more uh, teeth missing. Oligodontia is when a patient has six or more missing teeth. Anodontia means the patient has complete absence of teeth. Hyperdontia means a patient has one or more extra teeth, or we call it supernumeraries. This is when we have the same teeth double twice, okay? Of course, we have to extract one of them. Uh, in, uh, so, dental anomalies are usual, uh, usual congenital malformation that can happen either as, as isolated findings or as part of a syndrome. So, this means that dental anomalies can, can be associated with a syndrome. A patient coming with a certain syndrome might have the following dental abnormalities, okay? Let's look at this uh, uh, page. Hypodontia is a developmental ab absence of one or more teeth. It is congenital absence of some teeth, which is very common. And they occur sporadically or inherited. The absence of teeth are... The, la uh, the absent teeth are the last teeth in the series. This means that here, for example, we have 2, 5, and 8. What does this mean? This, me this means that the last teeth in the series is 2. We have central and then the lateral. So lateral is the last teeth in the series. Then we have 4 and 5. 5 is the last teeth in the series. Then we have 6, 7, and then 8. 8 is the last teeth in the series, okay, and so on. So it can happen, uh, hypodontia can occur in, can you see, it can happen in uh, deciduous teeth and permanent teeth. Uh, hypodontia arises because of an abnormality in the induction of the oral ectoderm by ectomesenchyme. And it, can, it happens in females more than males. Also, it's very important to know that the presence of conical teeth is often associated with the absence of the same teeth on the opposite side of the arch. We're going to see this on a slide. Hypodontia may be seen in a number of syndromes. This means, uh, this means that patient coming to the clinic with these syndromes may have hypodontia, okay? One or more teeth absent. For example, these syndromes are called ectodermal dysplasia, clefting, uh, Down syndrome, chondroectodermal dysplasia, Regers syndrome, incontinentia pigmenti, uh, orofacial digital syndrome, type 1 and type 2. Management. What can we do with such a patient? Okay, let's look at this slide here. We have here, these are the central incisors of uh, the deciduous teeth. And then we have, uh, or these are the A's, okay, and then we have here, uh, this is the pig shaped. This is a pig shaped, okay, or a conical teeth, okay. Uh, normally here, this is the lateral, okay. In this case, the the lateral is found on one side and it's absent on the other side. Normally, it ha they are both absent. The lateral are absent on both sides, okay. But sometimes you can find one here, one in the form of pig shaped or conical uh, conical teeth, okay. And then the other lateral is absent, okay? Or both lat or we might find both laterals are absent, okay? So what can we do here in case of management of such a case? We require coordination between the number of specialities. So we have to we can refer to a pedi uh, uh, the patient to a pe of course to a pediatric dentistry, orthodontic might make orthodontic treatment, restorative dentistry and oral surgery we may extract okay